Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is the very first video of our Django series. So let's first like learn about what Django actually is. So Django is actually a web framework. So now what is a web framework exactly? So web framework is something you use to build websites or web applications. So in case you wanted to build a site on something or about something, you would need a web framework of, I mean, for that. So Django is like just one of many web frameworks. You also have Flask and things like that. So in this series, we'll be learning everything about Django from start to finish. All right. So the first thing we have to do is we have to set up a virtual environment and install Django. So let's open up CMD. Okay. So now what is a virtual environment exactly? So just consider the very simple example of a school bag. All right. So you put all your books inside your school bag, right? Like basically your school bag like contains all your books. Similarly, everything about Django and the, and the site we are going to make will be contained inside the virtual environment. All right, so I'll be installing Django inside a virtual environment, all the files about my site, everything is going to be inside a virtual environment. All right. So like it won't affect the entire system. So the first thing you have to do is you have to install the virtual environment wrapper. So you can just do it using pip. So I can do pip install virtual env wrapper and I'm on Windows. So I'll put hyphen win. All right. So in case you get some message like saying pip, I mean the command is not um, like recognized as in whoops. Oh, I forgot to spell the E. My apologies. Um, pip install virtual env wrapper. Yeah. Okay. So as I was saying, if you get a message like saying pip is not the internal or external command or something like that, it basically means that Python is not on your path. So if you want the pip installations to work, you have to add Python to your path. So in case you want to do that, I will um, leave the link of a video in the description box below. You can go check that out and add Python to your path. And after doing that, you can get back to this video. All right. Okay. So now I already have it installed. So it's saying requirement already satisfied. So now how do you make a virtual environment? You can make it by just putting MK virtual ENV. All right. So this basically means make a virtual environment. So now you can name it anything you want. Now I'm going to name it new in this case. So I'll put new and it will get made. So basically everything about a Django website or whatever will be inside this new virtual environment. And there you go. It made new for me. Now, how do you know if you are inside the virtual ENV or not? As you can see here, it says new here, which means I'm inside the virtual environment new. All right. Okay. So now I'll just make a file inside which the entire content of our site will be there. So I can just say mkdir and I'll name the file as YouTube. All right. So it made the file for me. I can just cd into YouTube now. Okay. So now I'm into YouTube. So now I have to install Django, right? So I'll just show you what YouTube looks like right now. So if I go to my user PC and go to YouTube, as you can see, the file is empty, right? There you go. It like says it's empty. So now how do I install Django? I can do something like pip install Django and that's basically it. So now Django will begin to get installed. Let's wait for a moment and see if nothing went wrong. Okay. So as I was saying, after Django gets installed, you will get a few additional files inside the 
YouTube file in my case. So as you can see, it's using the cached Django. So I'll be back when the installation is over. So there you go, Django is finally installed. Now we can do something like Django hyphen admin. All right, so I want to start a project now. So start project and you can name this anything you want. I'll again be naming this YouTube in this case. Let's press enter. And oh, it actually conflicts. Okay. So let me put something else Django admin uh, start project. Let me name this as code. All right. Just just for an example case. Whoa, how does okay. Anyways. Let's put something like Mr. Code. Now there's no way this conflicts with something else. And there you go. I started a project named as Mr. Code. Let me just clear all this out. Okay. So now if I go to my YouTube folder, as you can see, it's my YouTube folder. I have a file called Mr. Code. Now once I go into Mr. Code, I have all this, right? I have Mr. Code and I have manage. So now manage is like a very important file. We'll be talking more about that later in the series. And then you also have Mr. Code. Now I'll go into Mr. Code here, all these files in it.py, settings.py, urls.py. So in this, like basically URLs and settings are the most important ones, which we will be using in the series. All right. So now how do you run the server, right? Now you install Django, you made a project using Django, but now how do you run the server? So now, now this is where like manage, I mean that manage.py file comes super handy because you can just do something like python manage.py and run server. So this is the command to run your server. All right. So if I press enter. Oh, I am not in my directory of the CD to Mr. Code because all my stuff is inside Mr. Code, right? And then I can put in Python manage.py run server. Let's see if it works now. And there you go. The server started. So now how do you like go to the server and see like what is there? So you have to go to localhost for this and for Django, it is 127.0.0.1 and then it is like colon 8000. So let me just go to Chrome and let me go to a new page. Let me put in 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 you enter that and there you go we have successfully installed django the install works successfully so yeah so now why are we seeing like this default page instead of like our own site it's because like we haven't started coding anything as of now so now this is basically just a default page so now in the next i mean in the coming videos we'll be learning how to code your very first site so yeah that's it for this video and bye